Welcome to the EXE 500 assembly video tutorial. You may wish to follow along with the instruction manual that came with your EXE 500 microscope. Note that some of the steps may be slightly different for ease of assembly. Your microscope comes with a 3mm hex wrench and you will use this several times during installation. For convenience, store it in the wrench holder on the back of the microscope frame. Installing the condenser and stage carrier. Your EXC500 should already have the condenser and stage carrier installed. Use the 3mm hex wrench to ensure that the lock screw is tight. Installing the condenser. Lower the condenser carrier to its lowest position by turning the condenser knob toward the front of the microscope. Loosen the condenser lock screw with the hex wrench. Position the condenser with the centering pin facing toward the back of the dovetail slider. Slide the condenser into place and wiggle it to ensure the positioning pin is engaged. Gently retighten the lock screw. Installing the stage. Using the 3mm hex wrench, Loosen the lock screw on the front of the stage. Position the XY movement knobs to the right. Align the circular mount on the bottom of the stage with the circular bracket on the condenser stage carrier and set the stage in place so that it is centered over the condenser below. Retighten the lock screw on the front of the stage. Installing the objectives and nose piece. Using the hex wrench, loosen the lock screw and slide the nose piece toward the front of the microscope to remove it. Turn the nose piece over so that the dovetail is down. Beginning with the dust plug at the position indicated by a red dot, work clockwise and unscrew enough dust plugs for the number of objectives you will be installing. Install the objectives into the nose piece from the lowest magnification to the highest in a clockwise direction beginning with the first empty objective receptacle as indicated by the red dot. Gently screw in each objective in a clockwise direction into the threads of the nose piece receptacle. Note, never force any objectives onto the threads of the nose piece and do not over tighten. Slide the nose piece back onto the dovetail mount on the microscope and retighten the lock screw with the hex wrench. Installing the viewing head and eyepieces. Using the hex wrench, loosen the lock screw on the top of the microscope body. Position the viewing head above the dovetail opening tilted slightly to the left and with the two eyepiece tubes facing forward. Ensure the head sits flat on the microscope frame and retighten the lock screw. Remove the dust caps from the eyepiece tubes. Insert an eyepiece into one of the eyepiece tubes. A gentle twist and push may aid in this process. Be sure the eyepiece is flush with the top surface of the eyepiece tube. Repeat for the other eyepiece. Installing the LED lamp house. Using the hex wrench, loosen the LED lamp house lock screw as indicated by the blue arrow. Align and install the lamp house with the opening in the back of the stand. Gentle wiggling of the lamp house may help it insert completely. Retighten the lock screw. Align the red dot on the LED lamp housing cable plug with the red dot on the top of the lamp house power port on the back of the microscope and slide the plug into the port. Installing the power cord. Align and plug the female end of the power cord into the power cord socket 
on the back of the microscope. Plug the other end into a grounded three-prong outlet. Perform curler alignment. For optimal performance, you should perform curler alignment at the beginning of every microscopy session. Important for even field illumination and maximizing resolution, curler alignment includes centering the condenser and adjusting the condenser aperture diaphragm. The condenser aperture diaphragm should also be adjusted each time the objective is changed. You can find these steps in the EXC500 manual and they only take seconds to perform. The Eco Setting The EXC500 microscope is equipped with an auto shutoff feature or Eco Mode to conserve energy and preserve the life of the bulb. Eco Mode activates when the microscope is unattended for 15 minutes. The Eco Sensor, identified by the blue arrow, is located on the front of the microscope base. While in Eco Mode, the lamp house is off and a red light of the ECO sensor will flash once every three seconds. To reactivate the illumination, press the ECO button once, identified by the red arrow, and a blue light illuminates on the ECO sensor. To disable the ECO feature, press and hold the ECO button for three seconds. To reactivate the ECO feature, press and hold the ECO button for three seconds. Enjoy your new EXC500 microscope, and thank you for your attention.